Shalom, Brother Ra, coming to you another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. A double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. This is another World War III uh, update. Okay, today's date is October the 1st, 2019, the year of Karagma. But I want to bring out this article. This article comes from, it says, the Express News Outlet. Okay, and it says, fears of all-out war with Iran as Donald Trump orders U.S. troops to Saudi Arabia. And you, as you can see, Eagle Face Trump front and center in the article. But it says, Donald Trump has approved the deployment of U.S. forces following the attack on two Saudi Arabian oil facilities, which could all be staged. Okay, we don't know, but it could be. It says the Pentagon described the deployment as moderate, adding that forces will be defensive in nature. It added forces, it added forces will primarily focus on air and missile defenses. Sky News reported U.S. troops and military equipment will also be sent to the neighboring United Arab Emirates, a Saudi Arabian ally. So that's pretty much it on the article. You know, and these are the times that we're living in where, you know, you're seeing World War III building up. All right, I'm bring out a precept here, Revelation 11 and 14. It says, the second world was passed and what's the second world? World War II. Okay, that's that's history. That's past. Okay, that happened a long time ago. Okay, it says, and behold, meaning to look to see, the third world cometh quickly. You know, and that goes back to Habakkuk, Habakkuk 2 and 3. You know, World War III is that third world, and it's coming quickly. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You know, and that, that just leads me to bring out Habakkuk 2 and 3. These are the times that we in, man. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time in which we are in the appointed time of Esau, the so-called white man's rulership, is coming to an end. You know, but with the signs that the Lord told us to watch for, which was World War III, that's one of the signs that we're in the appointed time. We're the end, you know, with the earthquakes and the uproars of the people, you know, the famine is happening, that's going to turn up. These are all signs coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, just to show that what we're in the end times, and our Lord and Savior is going to come to redeem the elect and bring forth the everlasting kingdom. It says, "But at the end it shall speak, and not lie." Why? Because the Lord is the, uh, is not a man that he should lie. These prophecies are speaking loud and clear. That's the vision that that is speaking of, man. It's speaking loud and clear. It's why? How is it speaking loud and clear? Because these events are actually taking place. That the Lord spoke through the servants of prophets in ancient times and in these times. It says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Th the third woe is coming quickly. It's not tarrying. You know, and there's tensions being built up between um, the Iranians, you know, the so-called Iranians in the, in the U.S., man. It's all part of um, the World War Three. Uh, taking place man with Russia getting pissed off and angry Russia known as Magog in the Bible okay but there's another precept I want to bring out it reads um, the book of Joel chapter the book of Joel chapter 3 verse 2 I will also gather all nations and bring and will bring them into the valley of Yahweh Shepot Okay, which that is in over there in the Middle East, where all these nations are going to gather up. You know, China, North Korea, Iran, Russia, the U.S., you know, those Amalekites, those fake Jews over in the land of Israel, you know, the Syrians. These are all, these are all things, these are all nations that are gathering up, you know, to, to pick a side and fight against the opposition. But this is the Lord doing that. It says, and will plead with them for the like it, and will plead with them there for my people. And who are the Lord's people? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. 
<clears throat> excuse me. All right. And that word plea means to judge. So the Lord is going to judge these nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Okay. The plea for his people. It says, and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. So all of this is, come, is going to come to pass, man. And the scriptures speak of it, you know, and this is the main reason why we are to warn you. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that what death and destruction is coming forth. There's no peaceful times coming. You know, Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 25. It says, destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. Majority of these people, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for better days in America. A raise, you know. You got some of these old heads looking to retire comfortably here in America. And just take trips, you know, in the off season and things like that. But that's not going to happen, man. There's no peace coming to America. Death and destruction is coming to America. Ezekiel 7 and 25. Destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. So there's not going to be any peace here in America and across the four corners of the earth. You know, the Lord is bringing the vision, as the scriptures say. You know, Micah 2 and 10. It reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. And that scripture is for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And that's truly a warning right there. That's truly a warning. America is not your rest. When you go into the, the uh, curses, you know, that was put upon the nation of Israel, you know, we will, we will serve our enemies in captivity. Okay? Although we're not in chains. You know, we're not in hardcore bondage. We're still slaves, man. We still have to go to the enemy in the one of all things. So that's that's the punishment that we, we had to serve, <clears throat> which is that punishment is coming to an end. OK, was to let you know that this is not our rest, that this place was just put in, put um, was set up for our captivity. You know, so it's saying arise you depart mentally and spiritually. You know, it says because it is polluted. You know, this land is polluted, the, the food, the water, you know, everything's polluted in America. The minds of our people, you know, promoting all types of wickedness. You know, you got these, you got Halloween coming up, which is one of the most satanic holidays, high holy or, or it's like a satanic um, wicked days, you know, that these devils, these that the left side pushes heavy, you know, but the majority of our people are going to be involved in that. Dressing up as ghosts and goblins, witches and warlocks. Why? Because it, it has polluted the minds of our people. It says, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. You know, it's going to destroy the majority of our people who don't want to take heed to the servants of prophets telling them that World War III is going to happen, that race riot is going to happen, martial law, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, will be made mandatory. It's going to be a famine. It's going to be cannibalism. There's going to be race riots, evil times, heavy killings at all-time high, dead bodies everywhere, man. This is coming soon, man. You know, I understand this went from a World War III update to, um, you know, death and destruction video, but hey, this is spirit right here, you know. But I'm going to read that one more time, and I'm going to close out another precept. The book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Okay? And and if you're seeking your help by Shemia Washai, you know, you pray for more diligence, more faith, you know, to continue to push, you know, more fear. You know, don't let up, man, because we at the end, man. We at the end, you know? And I'm going to close out on this precept right here. Um, let's see. The book of... Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. It says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil. Hey, what is a prudent man? A and prudent means wise. Okay? And how, how is a man considered to be wise? Because he's going to have the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures. And that's why the scriptures say, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. When you are considered wise and you have the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, you are discerning what's happening, what times we're in, what season we're in. Okay, because we're in a season of what? War. There's no peace if you're discerning the things that are going on. Mass shootings happening. Diseases at an all-time high. 
the job market sucks people are working two or three jobs like it's normal you know lets you know that what we're in we're in a time of war okay but it, as the scriptures say proverbs 22 and 3 a prudent man foreseeth evil you know a, a prudent man know evil is on the way okay because he's we'll see why it says in hide of himself how is a prudent man going to hide himself in the scriptures okay it says but the simple pass on and are punished hey hey the simple the simple believe every word man they believe these politicians when the politicians say that we're going to get reparations they've been saying that for years man and we ain't got a dollar yet not to say we're looking for those things but just to let you know that our people are they they um they, they trust in oppression you know they don't trust in things that they can't see they are carnal minded people that's the majority of our people man they're going to pass on they're going to be destroyed with a sword destruction as the scriptures say you know with this world war three happening is letting you know that evil is on its way man that this world war three is getting ready to be a full-fledged all-out war and the ones of our people in the military caught up in that want to um trust and oppression they're going to be left for dead man you know the lord is going to put them to death over in the valley of house pot when they get sent off man you know hey man I just want to give a World War III update and a, a warning through the power of spirit of Yahweh Shemiel Shai of the death and destruction that's lurking to here in America and across the four corners of the earth. So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well, and a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.